time to talk some tech right now. And Americans across the country take medications on a daily basis, with a lot of them coming in the form of pills. Now, Fox 13 tech reporter Jordan Hogan looks into how soon we could be using something called smart tablets and what the benefits of these could be. Medication can be a life-saving tool for people around the world, but sometimes we forget to take it or it needs to be injected, which can be difficult to do on your own. Now, a medical tech company based in Colorado is trying to simplify the process with smart tablets. It's various methods of delivering drugs in unique ways to try to improve the efficacy of the drug delivery. Right now, SmartTab is working on three capsules with different functions. They are the Target Tab, the Inject Tab, and the multi-tab. The target tab is a capsule designed to be tracked as it goes through your digestive tract. It's supposed to release a drug in a specific part of the body. The smart tab team hopes this would make medications more effective because they get released into the body at the right time and in the right place. We've got preclinical data on it and so far, it has performed very well. The Inject Tab is the second kind of smart tablet which would be used to deliver medications that are typically injected, like insulin. If successful, this tablet would remove the need for self injectors. We anticipate that the cost for our Inject Tab capsule would be less than the auto injectors. Finally, there's the Multi Tab. This is intended for medications that are delivered in multiple doses over a period of time, things like antibiotics and steroids. And the advantage to this is that the drugs get delivered at the correct time so you don't have to worry about the patient forgetting to take their dose. SmartTab is now working on preclinical animal trials for the InjectTab and the MultiTab. If successful, the next stage would be trying human trials with all three Smart Tablets. After that, SmartTab would need to seek FDA approval. In Salt Lake City, I'm Jordan Hogan reporting.